Hi everyone, have you noticed your subscription feeds are no longer in chronological order? Your subscription, those that you subscribe to. When you go to your home page, your subscription feed, you're seeing videos that were posted three weeks ago, sometimes four months ago. What's going on? YouTube has been testing artificial intelligence. They no longer give us these videos in chronological order. Now they're giving us what artificial intelligence believes we want to see. When you have a channel, you want your subscribers to see your latest upload, especially if your channel is under that category of news and whatever, I can't remember. News. You want your subscribers to see your latest upload. When it's related to a news event or no, when you go on your subscription feed, you may see a video that I posted four weeks ago because artificial intelligence is looking at the topics and deciding what topics you want to be viewing. This has drastically cut down on views of channels. So this new test, they say that they're testing it with a small number of users since February of this year. Every person that I subscribe to, I don't get their latest upload. I get videos on my subscription feed of videos they posted three weeks ago. I don't want to watch a video that I watched already. This is insane, but it is deliberate. When you have people running a corporation and they are psychopathic, narcissistic, they do not want people to achieve success. They want to destroy those who hurt their agenda. They will prop up those who are either just neutral or those who help them achieve their ends. But all of those who are working against them, they will destroy. And they chip away to destroy. And this is yet another chip, chipping away, not giving those who are on YouTube the latest upload of those that they subscribe to. I know that a lot of you are not getting notifications. I hear from you. I'm not getting notifications. Notifications on YouTube. Wow, they used to flood my email. Now, I get one notification of a comment under each video. Only one. What, what effect does that have? It, it disrupts the continuity of cyber communication. How? If I'm only getting one notification, of someone leaving a comment under each video and I no longer get those notifications notification that you responded to my response I can't remember which video you left the comment that I responded to and this just happened again energy vortex I responded to your comment I can't remember where you left the comment, which, under what video. So I can't go back because I would have to go back through every video and look at every comment for your comment. Now I responded and if he didn't respond back or, or um, he did respond back and I now haven't responded to his response, he may think that I'm ignoring him. And I'm not. This causes a lot of tension between people. 
when you don't get any notifications. It does disrupt our communication here. Not giving subscribers videos in chronological order of those that they subscribe to, that then means that you've got to go to the channel page of everyone that you subscribe to to see if they have recently posted. And that means more work for you. Why is YouTube allowing artificial intelligence to decide what I want to see in terms of the topic instead of letting me see what was recently posted? Because that's what I want. Now, Instagram apparently did this as well. Instagram is a Facebook platform. I didn't know that. But they stopped giving their viewers the chronological ordering of whatever it is that you post on Instagram. I Look, I am far behind the eight ball now in terms of all of these social media platforms. But nearly a half a million people signed a petition demanding Instagram revert back to the chronological ordering, and they have not done it. YouTube will not do it as well. We know that YouTube is not user-friendly anymore. And we know that it is using many different methods to censor information. And when you think about it, it is completely insane to not list on your subscription feed the latest post of those that you subscribe to. What do we have these these people at YouTube? They sit around a conference table and say, "Hey, let's let's uh, let's start not giving those who come onto YouTube the latest upload of those that they subscribe to. Let's just give them videos that they've already seen, but we know that they because they've clicked on that video, they like that topic, and therefore we're just going to give it to them again." just want to tell you that Mike Adams, July 4th, will be launching his YouTube alternative. And for those of you who think that Mike Adams is a disinformation agent working for the wrong side, if you leave a comment like that, could you please provide some evidence? Otherwise, otherwise I take those comments off my channel now. If you cannot provide evidence and you feel it's important for you to share your opinion about someone without any evidence, evidence, you are helping to break down trust. And I say that it, it has nothing to do with Mike Adams. I'm just saying it because it's true. And does it really matter? Don't go to the Health Rangers YouTube alternative it won't be any different from YouTube. Well, the internet, it was created for a reason. It's a net to trap us all. And the only way to get out of the net is to ditch the internet. How do you do that today? When in real life, you can't find adults. Yeah, they're aged appropriately for an adult, but you can't have adult conversation. You can't talk about what is happening to us all collectively. Where do you go? You go to the internet. So it's not easy to just ditch the internet. And I believe that all social media platforms, if they're not directly related to our Pentagon and the NSA, And they are, they have been created for good. There's back doors that the NSA, the Pentagon, the military, there are back doors. 
I don't believe that there is any safe platform on the internet, not at this point. So if we could at least have a site where we could feel that when we post a video, it's not going to be taken down, or we could have a channel and feel relatively uh, confident that when we wake up, the next morning it's still going to exist that in itself is enough for me to get off YouTube and to try Mike Adams site so I'll link below to both articles um, look there is nothing that I can do in terms of the notifications People still leaving me comments. Why did you erase my comment or delete my comment? My God. All right. Well, please understand social media if you don't. There are many comments that I have not deleted. I get accused of deleting them. I have no idea what they're talking about. It's YouTube doing it, not me. There are many comments that I delete, but it is comments that are obscene. Many comments that now I will not permit underneath my videos. It is clear that they are geoengineering, that they are chemtrailing the sky. It is clear that Man is controlling the weather. I am so not interested in all of these people who leave these comments. You're a nut job. Man can't do this, yada, yada, yada. And those comments that I know are the trolls writing their comments, trying to influence people, influence their opinion, their view, their belief in the wrong direction. And that's it. Um, so, yeah, th this, this was a perfect platform, man, to create divide and conquer and get people at one another's throats when they haven't done a thing. Have a good weekend.